Hello, and welcome to the show. I'm here today on Forza Horizon 4 with a bit of a challenge. Yes, we were each, well, each given, we had a budget of 100,000 credits to go on the auction house and buy an A-Class car. Now, this was to be a max PI A-Class, so we're talking 800 at PI, and the car had to be tuned by the person selling it, so we couldn't buy a sort of pre-tuned vehicle, and then we're going to race them and see what happens, because nobody knows what they've got, really. I did it fairly sensibly, and I have a Subaru Impreza with about 500 horsepower and rally tyres. Seems like a fairly good idea to me. We have an M4 that has very little room for upgrades. We have an Escort on drag tyres. We have a camper van with some 900 horsepower on drag tyres. There's a Land with many horsepower, 400 horsepower on drag tyres. There's a Volvo, not on drag tyres. There's a Holden missing a wing, which looks very weird. There's a Dingo Bug that's probably going to fall over, if I'm honest. Lots of power in that, though. Is that vintage race tyres it looks like it has? Possibly. That's going to be terrifying. BMW 1M, fairly sensible vehicle. 1,000 horsepower transit, for good luck. Uh, there is an El Camino, and there is a rear-wheel drive Morris that has an open diff, apparently. Uh, it's a eccentric selection of cars that we have going on here. And as I said, well, there are some that we think are going to be sensible. The BMW, maybe the El Camino, the Holden, my Subaru are probably quite sensible choices. Whether those are going to be quick, don't know. There could be something hideously done with the tuning that we just don't know how it's going to work. So we're going to do some races and see what happens. So for our first race, we have come to the Bambara Coast Circuit, a track I very much like. Perhaps one of my favourite circuits, in fact, in this game. Now, this track does generally go quite well for the high-powered machines. If a power car is going to work, it generally does work here. I will be curious to see whether some of the truly ridiculous, some of the truly crazy vehicles that we have in this are actually going to be of any good whatsoever, because I don't know. Um, I know I'm going to have some handling in the Subaru. I know we're going to have some good grip with this vehicle. Mine is, at the end of the day, a very, very sensible car, but it is down on power compared to some, perhaps, at uh, 500 horsepower. I say at, five, at 500 horsepower. I'm pretty sure the Escort had its front wheel up in the <laughs> That is not what you want to see from your car there, whatsoever. Uh, well, I'm glad I am not driving that. I suspect it's going to monster me down a straight if it can ever use any of its power. It's got about, I think it's got a similar level of power to me and much, much lighter. Um, now, here comes the Holden. That's going to look to the outside. Uh, we will defend down here. Oh, my brakes aren't the best on this. Braking is not the best in the Subaru. That's okay. Uh, our turn in is actually pretty good. It doesn't drive terror. I've got to get the brakes. I don't know whether maybe brake pressure is different. Maybe they uh, maybe they didn't upgrade the, the brakes to race brakes. I'm not sure. Uh, what is quick down the track? I'm actually impressed by the BMW. The M4 doesn't get any PI to play with, basically, in A-Class. And while you can... I think it's, that was being made all-wheel drive, so it may have got some added on uh, to, to help a little bit. Um, but yeah, I was surprised by the M4. Uh, oh, and we have a look through here. Not quite at the back of the Holden. I think we may be a tiny bit faster than that HSV. Uh, we're going to have a dive to the inside. Now, the problem is, is we get past here, but we're on the outside through this next long corner. That BMW is good through these corners. Credit where credit is due. That M4 is uh, fast through these turns. Oh, it doesn't quite have the top end of me in the, the HSV. The 1M is not so far behind as well if we continue to fight like this. Uh, oh, a little bit of lag went on there. Uh, that's not so helpful. Okay, we want to kind of... I want to have... I want to calm down the fight with the Beamer and focus on finding a way past that HSV. Uh, the 1M has come to join us, but that is because we've been fighting like lunatics here. The El Camino's up to fifth ahead of the Volvo. Uh, then we have a collection of silly cars. The Escort's fallen to the back. The Escort's actually fallen behind the Morris with the silly, broken, useless diff. Uh, uh, okay, I was a little brave on the speed through turn one. Uh, however... I'm still not disliking my car, I have to say. Uh, it's probably not that far away from how I would end up building it. Just got to adjust a little bit to the brakes, and then we're we're all good. Now, it might be because the car's a smidge heavier. Uh, I think getting near 500 horsepower in A-Class, rally tyres, all-wheel drive, decent-sized tyres, and so on, you're going to probably be compromised a little bit on weight. The HSV is a heavy, a heavy boat to begin with. Uh, we get a good run here. We're going to look to the outside. Uh, is this possible? Yes. 
Uh, will I make it work this time around? Maybe, but it's the outside of the final corner uh, here. We'll give the space to the HSV. We take the lead away from the Australian muscle car. Now, can we hold on to it? Can that, uh, can that car get distracted by a couple of BMWs? I'd be okay with that, personally. Uh, the dingo bug is not last, which does surprise me, uh, if I'm honest with you. Uh, <laughs> I think that says got some 500 horsepower from a Porsche engine in the back of that, and those are unbelievably difficult to uh, make drivable, really, especially when you start adding that level of power. I've seen quick ones in lower classes, A-class difficulties tend to arise, shall we say. Uh, we're going to try and run through this next, next long corner. Okay, I'm Oh, the HSV's got a wonderful run. Uh, <laughs> I don't quite know if there's an overlap, so I'm going to give it space in case there is. Oh, slides up into the door a little bit. I mean, we did this move last time around, and we came out with the lead of the race, so we're going to stick it there, and we will regain the lead, and here come the BMWs. Right, BMWs, keep that... Uh, Keep that Commodore, was it the GTS, I think? I can't remember the name of the damn thing, but I keep it busy, please. Uh, or let the Subaru... So that is slightly quicker than me down the straights. I'm slightly better through the corners. It's slightly faster down the straights. Oh, that was nice through turn one. Maybe it's a little too much of a... That's a more neutral steer in this than, than anything. So everything started sliding a little bit through there. Uh, oh, yes, smidge wide onto the grass. That's fine, though. Uh, we can jump across the grass. I do have the rally tyres. Oh, the HSV might have lost out to both the BMWs through there. No, the 1M couldn't quite follow through. Uh, we should now run clear. Their, their squabble amongst themselves has given me a nice gap. Unless I do something massively stupid up here, we should get around these final couple of corners. I know the M4s are not as quick as I am uh, down the start finish. I actually get a little bit of weight transfer. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of weight transfer related wobbles. From the Subaru, we are out of the final corner. We are going to run to the finish line. We will take victory in race number one here at uh, the Bambara Coast Circuit. The Impreza was good. The Impreza was very good. The wheels are not so good. Not to my taste, I can tell you that much. But, uh, yeah, the Impreza takes a victory. 57-4 from me. The M4 is a 57-8 ahead of the, uh, the HSV and the 1M. The El Camino is fifth ahead of the Mad Elan. Then Volvo, the Bug, uh, Escort beats the uh, VW. In the end, the Morris would fall to the back. The Escort cli climbed up some positions. The Look at the lap times between the Volvo, the Bug, and the Escort. Bloody hell. Subaru is good. I will say that much. The Subaru is pretty damn fast. So, we move on to our second race. This, again, another relatively fast track. The Lakehurst Hop Circuit. Couple of big straights. Admittedly, some kind of nasty corners around the place as well. Turn 1 in particular is a notoriously difficult section. Easy to miss checkpoints through that part. And there's, a, there's a kind of left-hand kink on the back straight that will be probably not flat out for any of these cars, but close to with cars like my Subaru, uh, and not close to some other vehicles uh, that have a lot worse tyres than me. Um, we're going to see how it goes, really. I should... Again, I expect to be fairly quick around here by virtue of I actually have some handling compared to some of the other vehicles. Uh, certainly, we've been very, very lucky with grid spots in this, for example. I mean, we started from third. I think we were second or something in that first one. Oh, here comes the Ford. Now, what we might see as a problem here is if it can get past. I don't know whether it can. That's the thing. Um, if it can get past, it could make life difficult for me. Uh, oh, we've got a lot of understeer through there. Although, I mean, considering what we're up against... It's slightly less important. Uh, oh, and again, uh, first lap, can't get the car slowed down for a big braking zone because I'm still kind of learning what I can and can't get away with. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of positions? Uh, we have got, I mean, it's the same, well, it's the same top four going on again. Uh, me with the Subaru. Let's go with the HSV. We're not quite the same top four yet. Clark's Ford is clinging in there, but then it's followed by the two BMWs. The Elan has dropped back. See, this circuit might work better for the HSV than it does for my Subaru. Uh, Oopsie daisy, only just got the checkpoint there. This is going to be a battle now for me, I think. Uh, we're going to have to try and work 
really hard to keep that HSV. He's actually trying to duck underneath. Was not expecting there to be a car there to uh, to duck underneath. Uh, that caught me a little bit off guard. Well, if it wants to go past, I'm going to make it go the long way around. If it wants to go past, by all means try it, but you're going to have to try the outside up here. It has got more top end than me. Does it want to? Has it got the grip to go around the outside? It actually does. Fair play to the HSV. Can I dive it into here? On the brakes we go. We get it stopped, but only just. I think this is more a matter of when rather than if that car finds its way past. I think it's just going to breeze past me on the next straight. And it was a fair enough dive that, uh, that we took there. But... <laughs> Problem is, we come out of that corner, and immediately we're going to be back under pressure again. If I'm going to, if I'm going to win this, we're going to have to just defend for so long in this race. Uh, oh, slow the car down for turn one. We actually missed the apex again a little bit for that first corner. Uh, is the HSV going to have a dive? It's not close enough. Although, oh, the understeer gets the better of me through there once again. The you don't see the nose of the HSV this time around. It's exactly the same group of vehicles. In fact, Longbow's got the fifth again with that El Camino. I'd be curious if the El Camino started further up, how well that could do. The BMWs are coming this way. Has that got an overlap? Almost. Uh, uh, oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Missed his braking point as well through there. Oh, Christ. M4 turned up on the scene while we were trying to get back. There's a horrible quarter when you're sluggish. M4's got both the BMWs. actually got way more turning than me. Through here, I think we're both going to get back past. Uh, me and the HSV are going to go past the BMWs when we get to a straight because I think we're both quicker than them, uh, possibly at least. The M4, I'm actually really surprised at how well that M4 is turning. Uh, the car is stock form is terrible, uh, or I don't like it at all. I'm surprised how well they've got that one working for A class, where it's not normally all that fast. The 1M is struggling a little bit for pace. Oh, please get slowed down through there. We bobble a little bit across the kerb. Uh, right. I might be too far back, you know. I think we've lost too much at the start of this. Uh, <laughs> I think we've lost too much at the sort of start of this lap and the last one to not be in range of that M4. How on earth are we going to pass it? Where would we? I mean, we would pass it down the straights because I'm not good enough. Well, we'd pass it down the straights or if it made a mistake through here, I was too slow that time around. The HSV's gone chasing after the 1M. Uh, you're going to have to have an absolutely perfect next lap. That's what's going to do it. Well, I say that. If we're going to win this, the final lap is going to have to be perfect and we're looking for a mistake from the BMW. I mean, we saw it just clip a wall. We saw it just, just brush through a wall there. Uh, we held it flat all the way through that corner because I know I have to at this point there's nothing nothing else I can do, we're going to give it everything to try and get back past that M4 on the brakes we go, down towards turn 1 we still understeer a little bit wide through there, it's too quick through that section from me in the Subaru, I just don't have the front end, I don't have the front end grip, I've overdriven it a little bit, the BMW actually clonked the wall on the exit if anything, that's helped me out massively here because that's lost so much. My slightly erratic driving through that section was iffy, but the M4's got into more trouble this time around. Uh, now, I'm not going to have a look here. I know I can't pass this corner. What I, uh, I want to be close. Ideally, you'd dive up the inside here, but we're too far back. I, mean, I saw we do it to the HSV. Ah. If we've had a slightly neater turn one and two. Maybe we would have been close enough. Sadly we didn't. And when the BMW made a mistake I was not quite in the place to pounce. We're going to be so close but it is not going to be enough. The BMW is good around this circuit. It is good enough to fend off against the Subaru. M4 takes victory. Second place will go the way of my vehicle. Uh, Liam will take third with a 1M, and then the HSV. I think maybe we found a little bit of speed at the end there. Uh, down to the 107s uh, in that. The HSV was was very quick down the straights, just couldn't quite carry the corners, and we got in a little bit of a tangle. Morris will be at the back. The transit, we saw a lot, we saw missed a couple of checkpoints along the way. The bugs having issues. The camper vans, I would imagine, quite undrivable. Uh, <laughs> Volvo's down in eighth place. We have. So there's, there's basically four cars at the front that are very close. There's an El Camino that's. Well, the El Camino and Land are kind of close. Interesting spread of vehicles uh, going on currently. The wacky cars with all the power 
even at that circuit didn't quite work. So, we move next to a street circuit. We've had two relatively fast open tracks. This is a little bit more technical, a little bit more nasty. Again, we find ourselves a nice place on the grid. I don't think we started lower than third so far, which is quite good for us. Um, what have we got? The El Camino starts up the front. We'll actually get to see the Chevy a little bit uh, in this one. The Transit we know has a thousand horsepower and is very quick. Uh, the M4's behind us, so we're going to be closer, as is the HSV. Uh, Liam's 1M is down at the back, so that's going to have a lot of work to be doing. Uh, I don't think... Nothing here is so quick off the line as to like completely slaughter the, the Subaru. The Subaru is so good off the line because it's rally tyres and... Uh, all-wheel drive and everything that is not too bad. The trans is going to be terribly slow mid-corner. The M4 is not very good off the line. Let's not very good off the line initially. The M4's... I think, no, I think that one was all-wheel drive converted. But uh, it's not quite as good off the line. Maybe gears or something as uh, the likes of the Subaru. Uh, we'll be around the hairpin, although we've got the BMW. This is going to be a defendy sort of race, I think. Um, I will have the speed to outrun it down here but I won't have the grip through a corner. Like these corners here are where it's going to hurt. The plus point for me is this is a tough track to overtake on. If you don't have straight line speed and can dive into turn one, the rest of this lap is difficult, very difficult actually, to, uh, to be overtaking on. So if we can keep that BMW at bay through the rest of the, through the, through the, sort of the, the twisty sections, I can probably pull far enough away. I mean, it's not a huge difference between our cars in terms of, you know, it's not otherworldly power versus grip levels of difference here. Uh, the BMW is a bit better through the corners. I'm a bit faster down the straights. Uh, it does work out quite well through all of this. Oh, carefully does it through there. We always get a little bit of a twitch. Uh, Longbow, the El Camino is to fourth. Where has Liam got that? Liam's already up to fifth with the 1M. So, I mean, that's... Uh, you're seeing how quick that car is, is going through. But it's a little bit unlucky. I mean, if we could have, like, a reverse grid of the previous race finishing positions, that would be fun if Forza would let us set all of that up and everything. Um, as it is, not quite. Oh, these corners are where we do hurt with the Subaru. It just doesn't have the turn in. I wonder whether small front tyres possibly on this car. Uh, again, you can see the BMW is right on us by the end of the lap. The HSV can't keep up around here. This really is a... Oh, BMW versus... Subaru kind of a battle and I have missed my brakes into turn one. The Alan has missed a checkpoint. Uh, thankfully the BMW just bumped the wall. I might have one option here. One, I say one option. One plan. Ah, oh, the BMW is so good off the corners I don't know if I'm going to be close enough. I'm going to have to fire it past either at turn one or down here. And I don't really want to fire it up the inside down here because I don't really have the grip to make that work. Well, the BMW doesn't really like this section, which surprises me. It's just good at the final corner where I am not. Uh, can we find a way back past? The camper van has missed a checkpoint. Although we are quite nice and close actually this time around out the final corner. I've got the final corner spot on. We know we're going to have a fire up the inside into turn one. If we can get it stopped, which we do, the BMW holds on the outside. Runs a wheel over the curb, but does keep hold of the position. Can we be in place at the hairpin? No, BMW's going to move across to defend. As is fair enough to do, they had the space to make that happen. Uh, we try to get up the inside for the exit, not quite. Uh, can we do anything? Liam's still not got past Longmo's El Camino at the moment. Uh, so that's a good showing for the Chevy. Ah, uh, not close enough. If I actually fall back a little bit, I was bad through the first part. We can maybe pick this up through the second part, though. This is going to be difficult. I've only got a lap now to try and make something happen here against that M4. Uh, I am impressed with the M4. I thought the 1M was going to be the bigger threat. If anything, it does seem to be more about the M4 than the than the 1. Not that the 1M's had a tough time here, it always is going to. But at the previous races as well, it seemed like the uh, M4 was the better option of the two here. Uh, we've got a really good run through turn one, but nowhere to go with it. Uh, we're just going to be sat stuck behind, pretty much pushing the M4 up the hill here. Uh, again, it's looked to the outside. Can I cut back underneath it here? Come on, Subaru, get some grip, get some speed. We might have got an overlap here. There was a gap. There was a gap against the M4. Can we get this across in time? Yes, we can. The M4 is probably, this is the corner the M4 didn't really like. 
it's going to be the turn of the BMW to push me through that particular corner. We have got just two more turns to go. Oh, they've hit the wall. The M4 pinged it into the wall. I don't need to do anything stupid around the final corner. I am not going to do anything stupid around there. Oh, what a race. <laughs> We decimated the rest of the field around that track. It is victory for the Subaru. The M4, it put up a hell of a fight. I say we decimated. Um, the HSV, not quite as suited. The 1M couldn't quite get past the El Camino by the end of that race. The Escort actually didn't do too badly for one of the more wobbly-wibbly cars. The 56-0, actually quite a good lap time from that. 57s uh, for the Bug. It would beat the Transit. Transit beats the Elan, the Volvo. And the Morris, the camper van I saw, we saw parked up, had a torrid time around this, almost undrivable, that vehicle, around that circuit. Oh, some exciting racing, to say the least, around there. A fantastic battle with the M4. Shame it ended up in a wall. Great battle, though. And for our final race with these auction house bought cars, we are heading off road. Uh, we are at the farm, uh, Highland Farm Scramble, sorry. Uh, with my Subaru, I think, in a pretty good stead, uh, if I'm honest with you. Uh, the VW Bug, a fourth, I, I've got crazy luck in, in this. Um, what I might do, just for the sake of fairness, um, I will actually drop to the back of this, uh, because I want to see a little bit of, uh, I say I see a little bit of the race, but I might be one of the very few cars actually suited to this. I might be one of the very few vehicles actually on rally tires with a possible exception of the dingo bug. So I'll give myself a little bit more of a challenge uh, <laughs> around here. Um, yeah, I, I, like, I do like this super. This is a good, I thought it was going to be decent. I didn't realize just how crazy, crazy fast. The Volvo is out very, very wide through here. The 1M is up ahead, is Slightly well, the 1M's definitely, very definitely not on uh, some good tyres through here. It's making plenty of noise, um, but it's, they're, they're very sideways through there. So that's rear-wheel drive and probably street tyres. Uh, maybe, I don't think you put race tyres on. I don't think you have to PI to put race tyres on that one. Uh, we have got... The, well, the Dingo Bug will be on... Oh, no, that was on Vintage Race, wasn't it? That was on Weird Tyres, so that's not going to be enjoying life out here either. Uh, the HSV, I'm pretty sure, was on Sports or something. Uh, they're three wide across the jump up ahead. Oh, the BMW is in the wall and pointing the wrong way. Here we go. We're going to sneak past, uh, get past Longbow's El Camino as well. I mean, this is how much speed we have in this Subaru. It's absurd. Um, oh, I did what everyone was told. It was going to be three tarmac and one dirt. Everyone knew what it was going to be. This is why I picked a car like this one. Uh, oh, I think Clark's car is all-wheel drive, I believe. The Escort is all-wheel drive, which is why... Uh, that is doing what it is uh, at the moment. It's actually not doing too badly. It's all-wheel drive on funny tyres. I think it's on track tyres, they said. Uh, very small drag tyres, uh, which is not good out here, but also all-wheel drive is good out here. Um, so I guess that all-wheel drive and quite a lot of power and quite lightweight is helpful and everything. Uh, definitely looks better than the rest of the pack. Uh, can we have a go around somewhere here. So I know the M4 won't be on rally tyres, of course, doesn't have a PI. It'll be on its standard tyres, uh, I would imagine. We will clear the Escort into turn one. I mean, we've just got the composure in this car uh, to put it where we want and we can get past, I say at will. Not quite at will. The HSV may be a little bit of a bigger task. Uh, not sure what tyres that's on. I'm pretty sure they're sports, though. I don't think they're... It has been all-wheel drive converted, so it's another all-wheel drive swap vehicle but probably won't have the tyre grip. This track's not the worst, though, for cars not on outright rally tyres, owing the fact there's quite a lot of straight-line speed stuff here. Uh, so the HSV might put up a little bit of a fight, uh, especially down the run down towards turn one. Uh, oh, I could have gone around the outside there, probably, possibly, maybe. Uh, we will swap sides through here. Indeed, we will. Uh, oh, big slide for me that time around. So, so we are going to be slightly out of range by turn one, and I'm going to be early on the brakes. I'm going to be careful on the brakes. It's really easy to just overshoot the first corner here. Uh, this little section is where the HSV will drive away from me. My best bet is that corner coming under the bridge. That's where we are going to have the most luck, I would imagine. Impeg has got the dingo bug up into fourth, which is good going. In fact, we might not even need to wait that long to get past the HSV as we are alongside. We will keep the foot down around the outside here. Uh, it's held through there, actually, which is quite impressive. 
Now it is us to the inside. We can get on the power. We've just got the grip in the Subaru. We will scythe past the, uh, the HSV. That'll put us up to the lead. We've got one lap to not make any mistakes. Although that is quite a big mistake running through there. I didn't want to hit the fence. I just ran in too deep. Uh, we have... We have the grip to get away with it, basically. Uh, or, although, don't get cocky, that is when you get into a lot of trouble. We may actually go and lap some cars in this. Uh, drag tired vehicles. Oh, that was very late on the. But that's, that's the old oh crap, heart in mouth. I'm about to have a massive accident moment right there. Didn't particularly want that moment. We were going to get that moment regardless, but. Uh, <laughs> There we go. Uh, we will... I mean, we only need a little lift through that section. You can see how quick the Subaru is around here. Ah, oh, the Battle of the Bad. You and... Uh, well, we just watched you miss a checkpoint through there. Uh, I mean, these are drag tyres. There's a 900 horsepower camper van on race tyres, I think. That's 400 horsepowers of Elan on drag tyres. They've not got any grip out here whatsoever, and they're both rear-wheel drive. So... <laughs> they have got absolutely nothing in terms of speed. And pega has got the dingo bug up to third! That's impressive stuff. That is actually quite impressive stuff right there for that vehicle. Probably more surprising and impressive than the Subaru in some regards. Funny enough, sensible rally car did a sensible and did a win out here. Uh, we had some pretty good battling uh, along the way. So the previous round, yeah, it was quick around there. Just a smidge. HSV would take second ahead of that dingo bug. The El Camino would get fourth. It does beat the Escort. That slides down to fifth by the end of the M4. Recovers well after a poor start, but... Always, it was always like to be a little bit uh, struggle. The Morris beats the 1M, curiously, and beats it into the lap time as well. The 1M really struggling around there. The Volvo would come ninth ahead of the LAN, and then there's Ewan's VW bus at the back, not having the best of times. So, as far as conclusions go, well, the Subaru was probably the best all-round vehicle, if I am honest. It is very quick at just about all the circuits. It maybe lacks a tiny bit of speed compared to the HSV and a tiny little bit of cornering compared to the BMWs, but it does work everywhere. On the dirt, nothing could even get remotely close to the vehicle. It was, in the end, a sensible choice. I mean, I did pick relatively sensibly when I looked for a Subaru. Um, it turned out mine was actually quite good. We had some really, really fun racing. Uh, there certainly were four cars very, very close together for all the tarmac races anyway. Uh, we had some really, really fun stuff. There was some madness uh, for the back that uh, was just a little bit too much off the pace. But this was good fun. I think with some more, some tweaks, maybe some rule changes and so on, uh, we could get, we could probably come back to this and we could have a fun, we could have some more fun, I think, with buying random cars of the auction house and going racing with them and see what could happen. I like my Subaru. Not the wheels. The rest of it, though, pretty damn good, I have to say. And that, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye.